Hunk 6-1 Technical Session Hunk was created to help Hadoop users create analytics, visualization, dashboards on top of Hadoop data stores. In addition, in Hunk 6.1, we also added a feature that allows um, data stores like Cassandra, MongoDB, HBase, um, and a few others to also be the data store for Hunk. In Hunk 6.1, we added five new features, including the ability to do a acceleration on top of reports. Those report acceleration basically means that you can cache the results from Hadoop and you can avoid the need to run MapReduce jobs. So the result can be displayed via the dashboards and the report that we showed earlier in a few seconds. Also, the second feature we added is to take user-provided uh, schemas through Hive and expose them as key value pair inside of the Hunk UI. That means that if you already invested time and effort to build those key value pairs, you can take those and expose them through the Hunk UI. The third thing that we added, we added support for multiple file formats, including Parquet file, sequence files, ORC files, and RC files. The fourth feature is called Pass-Through Authentication. This feature allows the Hunk UI to pass the user who logged into Splunk is the user who is actually executing the MapReduce job. This is a very important feature for users who are using Hadoop as a multi-tenancy uh, environment. So in addition to the ability to have access control as we saw in Hunk 6.0, we also now can pass the user itself all the way end to end. And the last thing, and this is the feature that opened the door to um, NoSQL data stores like MongoDB, like uh, Accumulator, like uh, Cassandra, like HBase. It really allows Hunk to be the interface and the exploration and the uh, analytic tool on top of those NoSQL interfaces. We call the, this feature called Streaming Resource Libraries. It's a set of libraries that expose those other NoSQL interfaces as a back-end um, mechanism for Hunk. First, let's start with Report Acceleration. To build the Report Acceleration, it is a fairly trivial task within Hunk. You, once you run the report and you have exactly what you're looking for, you go into the Hunk UI Save As. You click on the Save As, you click on the report. The Hunk UI gives us the option to determine how much data do we want to save as part of this report. So if we, for example, select seven days, Hunk will then go in and at any given point maintain inside of Hadoop the results of seven days worth of data inside of the Splunk directory under HDFS underneath the cache subdirectory. We can see the dispatch subdirectory which is the directory that allows us to go in and do the um, mix mode feature, the ability to see preview of the data. So after each phase of the map uh, job, Hunk pulls the data and shows data preview. The packages and bundles are all about the features that we called indexing on the fly. And those two subdirectories give us the ability to go in and index the data and truly during the search time. To see the report acceleration in action, we have a side-by-side -side dashboard that shows accelerated versus non-accelerated uh, reports running side-by-side. -side. And as we can tell, 
the one on the left which is accelerated has already went from the hunk UI to HDFS, retrieved the cached result and display it and it's done. The one on the right is going to, because of the mixed mode, we see subset of the data getting loaded, but we can see it's still loading the data from Hadoop. And it's going to take some time before it's totally done, depends on your job. But this is a very good side-by-side -side demonstration of the report acceleration where within a few milliseconds or seconds in some cases, you'll see the accelerated report coming from Hadoop and display and the non-accelerated has to run a MapReduce job in that although we have the mix mode which allows subset of the data to be displayed, it still takes much longer for the job to uh, complete. Secondly, let's take a look at the support for a Hive user-defined schema. To support a Hive schema within Hunk, we have to add a single key to a provider. In this case, I had to add to my normal a provider. I, I had to add another splitter. We called it a Hive split generator. That's the first thing we have to do. The second thing we have to do is once we create a virtual index, we are need to tell the virtual index the database name and the table name that we want to pull from um, the Hive store. So in this case, I have a database name called Ranan database and the table called a Ranan underscore airport underscore table. And looking at the runtime of this virtual index, we can see that Hunk goes in to Hive and based on the keys that we defined, we see the same exact keys exposed to the Hunk UI. For example, those same keys are then exposed on the left side as a key value pair, and we can see all the different countries and so on and so forth. As mentioned earlier, we added support for new file formats in Hunk 6.1, including sequence, RC, ORC files, parquet files with the 30 option. For example, a parquet file, I've added several new virtual indexes. If you're looking at uh, the customer parquet, we can see I'm pointing it to a parquet file. And then once we run Hunk against this parquet file, you can see that Hunk parse the parquet file and give us all the keys based on the structure in that particular file format. To see the pass-through authentication, we need to set a few flags within the Hunk UI. First thing, we need to have a provider with one additional flag, and that additional flag it's called the impersonation. So, so in this case, I have several users, including a user called Ranan. And to show this feature, I'm going to log out from the admin user and log in as Ranan and execute the MapReduce as user Ranan with the provider being set to impersonation enabled. Um, also, while we on the access control, we can see that as we mentioned earlier, every single virtual index is also enabled by user access control. So looking, logging out from the administrator user and logging back in as user Ranan. Going back to my virtual index, I'm going to run a virtual index that is using 
the user impersonation. And in this case, it's going to run this MapReduce job as user run on. And to see this, we can go into the browser, the job browser inside of you, and see that in this case, user run on is the one that's running this particular job and not as we seen so far user root and so this kind of user impersonation is a very powerful feature and you can map any user to any set of users inside of Hadoop and it's all done through the user impersonation UI option. The last feature that we added in Hunk 6.1, it's called Streaming Resource Library. It's the ability to allow partners to write using the, uh, those libraries, those APIs, connectors to MongoDB, Accumulo, Cassandra, and many other NoSQL data stores. To help those partners, we created a sample app inside of Hunk that allows you to see those APIs in action. Um, in this case, we provided both Java and Python. And once you install this sample app, you can look at the source code and see how to build those APIs libraries to create a new external result provider to those NoSQL interfaces. Also, if you wish, you can go to the Splunk website um, and look under answers.splunk.com or blogs.splunk.com for additional information. Thank you.